hello all as we are going through the bacteriology section today we will be discussing about streptococcus pneumoniae streptococcus pneumoniae they are normal common cell of upper respiratory tract and they usually causes pneumonia and otitis media usually in children they are called as pneumococcus actually they are usually or frequently called as pneumococcus and later they were reclassified as streptococcus pneumoniae because of its genetic relatedness relatedness to streptococcus they differ from streptococci in their morphology because they are uh, diplococci and in their bile solubility optokin sensitivity and by a specific polysaccharide capsule morphology of streptococcus pneumoniae they are gram positive bacteria small that is 1 micrometer in diameter elongated cocci and they are arranged in pairs and hence called as diplococci and they have broad end in a position and uh, their one end is broad or rounded and the other is pointed as their one end is broad or rounded and other is pointed it gives a flame shaped or lanceolate appearance and usually they are capsulated and the capsule will enclose each pair and they can be demonstrated as a halo in india ink they are non motile and non sporing next is the culturing of streptococcus pneumoniae streptococcus pneumoniae are aerobes and facultative anaerobes and the optimum temperature for their growth is 37 degrees celsius and the optimum ph is 7.8 in blood agar after 18 hours of incubation uh, the colonies appear small and dome shaped and as they are alpha hemolytic there will be a greenish discoloration and after prolonged prolonged incubation the colonies will become flat with raised edges and central amponation and this will give a drotsman appearance and in liquid media like glucose broth they will show uniform turbidity and next is the biochemical reactions so the pneumococci fer- ferment several sugars with production of acid only the fermentation is tested in hisses serum water and the fermentation of inulin by pneumococci is of great value to differentiate them from streptococci and the ne- streptococcus pneumonia usually they are soluble in bile that is when 2% sodium deoxycholate solution is added to a broth culture the culture will clear due to the lysis of cocci next is the resistance of streptococcus pneumoniae they are very delicate organisms that is they can be destroyed at 52 degrees celsius uh, for 15 minutes and they are sensitive to usual antiseptics and in optokin sensitivity test that is uh, optokin is ethyl hydrocuprin hydrochloride and in a concentration of 1 is to 5 lakh uh, uh, they can show a white zone of inhibition that is when an optokin disc is applied on a blood agar that is inoculated with pneumococci a white zone of inhibition occurs on incubation this is very useful test to differentiate the pneumococci from other streptococci next is the antigenic structure the most important antigen of the pneumonia pneumococcus is capsular polysaccharide then n protein cell wall carbohydrate which is also called as c substance next is the pathogenesis Uh, the streptococcus pneumoniae is one of the most common bacteria causing pneumonia both lobar and bronco pneumonia in lobar pneumonia the pneumonia will result only when the general resistance is lowered and uh, bronco pneumonia usually uh, they appears as a secondary infection following a viral infection of respiratory tract then comes the meningitis meningitis is the most serious of pneumococcal infections 
streptococcus pneumoniae is the second most important cause of pyogenic meningitis after uh, and meningi meningitis this disease is common in children and the other inf infections are empyema pericarditis otitis media sinusitis conjunctivitis and peritonitis next comes the lab diagnosis first is specimens Uh, the clinical samples such as sputum cerebrospinal fluid pleural exudate or blood are collected according to the site of lesion then comes the collection and transport uh, all the specimens should be collected in sterile containers under aseptic conditions they should be processed immediately if there is uh, any any delay the csf should not be refrigerated it should be kept at under 37 degree celsius next is the direct microscopy and antigen detection the gram staining of smear will reveal a large number of polymorphs and typical organisms uh, and uh, the capsula swelling may be observed under microscope when pneumococci are mixed with type specific antisera and the capsula polysaccharide antigen can be demonstrated by counter immunoelectrophoresis this has been employed in blood urine and csf and the antigen can be detected also by immunochromatographic assay latex agglutination or coagglutination next is the culture specimen is inoculated on blood agar and incubated at 37 degrees celsius uh, for 24 hours in the presence of 5 to 10 percentage carbon dioxide next is the colony morphology and stain colonies are usually small uh, with alpha hemolysis that is a greenish discoloration around them on prolonged incubation they will uh, they will show drotsman appearance as we discussed earlier next next comes the biochemical reactions we know they are uh, bile soluble and usually they are catalyzed negative then comes the animal pathogenicity test from specimens where organisms are expected to be scanned intraperitoneal in inoculation in mice may be used inoculated mice die in 24 to 48 hours hot blood and peritoneal exudate of the animal show pneumococci finally treatment usually the antibiotic of choice is parenteral penicillin and uh, cephalosporin is indicated in case in case of penicillin resistance that's all thank you